Good morning. It is really early today. Um, spring forward and all that goodness. I don't even know why we do daylight savings anymore. It's dumb. Anyway, after getting up super early this morning for no good reason other than to be up and embracing the day, here I am. Good morning. <laughs> I have so much to share with you today that I can hardly stand it. Uh, these past two weeks since the last floss tube video, I have gotten so much done. It is amazing what I've done. I mean, I feel like it's a lot, even though maybe it isn't. It just looks like a lot. So uh, let me get my list here because I had to make a big list. I made the list as I went along during the last two weeks so I'd remember, you know, hey, you got to talk about this because sometimes after I make a floss tube video, I'll be, you know, putting things away or cleaning up the house. and I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about this. So whatever that was, it's probably still forgotten. <laughs> Not this time, though. So... Um, num, 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 num. What should we start with? Let's start with the project bags. Um, I'll have to. <clears throat> There's so much stuff. Okay. So every day I've been making uh, two to four project bags because I believe I told you last time that I cut the fabric and everything for 87 project bags. Slowly but surely, I'm getting through them. I don't even know how many are here. Let's see, three, four. Oh, 15. 15 out of 87. Oh my goodness. Well, no. Eight, uh, Actually, I made 17, but two of them, one of them I kind of melted the vinyl a little bit, but so I kept that one, and then the other one had some tape goo on it that I couldn't get off, so I kept that one as well, because, you know, I don't want to put, you know, something that's seriously flawed in my Etsy shop, so here's my stack, <laughs> and... Yesterday, I had made these two Route 66 project bags. Da, da, da. And instead of doing a, um, like a coupon code or anything like that, I have just been putting these in my shop for $25 each instead of the standard $35 like you would see for most project bags. So... It's just $25 each. So these are in there right now. Um, I've already sold a few, so that's good. Um, I'd like to see these go. And usually I make these Monday through Friday because it's like my job, you know, but um, while well, I'm not actually working a contract somewhere. <laughs> So slowly but surely, these are getting made and put into my shop. I'll have I'll have this in my shop later today, or these two, I should say, because I have two of these. See, isn't that cool? Route 66. I love this fabric. So, um, I might as well just show them all to you. Show them all. So I have this one, which is the winding flowers and uh, it has a let me open it up I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not but oh yeah you can it's a sparkly fabric on the inside and no the glitter doesn't come off so uh, as far as I know let me run my hand in there we'll find out in case you're worried about it coming off oh coming off on your project I mean 
granted there might be some rogue bit of glitter that comes off once in a while but uh, then I have I have these two one has a red zipper one has a blue and these are red and blue paisley I really like these Here's the back side and then I have I bought this fabric when I was in Alaska and I really like it I thought I had another oh I sold one of these <laughs> these are so cool so the blue ones left and so you get in there and I don't even know why I'm showing you the inside you can clearly see the inside right here but uh, yeah that's dumb and I still have this really cool retro looking one if you're into you know those great late 60s early 70s colors and design which kind of has a little Indian flower thing inside and flowers on the outside pretty cool and then I have a bunch of this fabric right here and but the insides are all different except for there's there's two down here that have the same ends one two oh three but like you have the brown inside and then that on the outside i mean when your project's in the bag it doesn't matter what the lining is on the inside but if it's an empty bag and oh my goodness, who the heck would have an empty project bag? Seriously. The only time it should be empty is when I'm shipping it to you, right? And then I have all these beautiful blue ones. So here's the back. And then inside has a, a different batik for each one of them. Doo -de -doo -de -doo. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I keep thinking, you know... Well, I could have made a quilt or something like that, but this is more fun. Now that I have it down, they come out mostly perfect every time. And my hair is just being unruly today. It keeps growing. I don't know why that happens. I just had it trimmed and it, it's... Oh, and the static. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so here are the ones that... Are kind of the same I have two of these but the zippers are different wait nope these are identical <laughs> and here's one where I changed out the front part so you see the difference there and of course the back and uh, so that's what I have now in my shop waiting for a new home they need a home. Whoops. Dropped my book. So I've been making those the last two weeks, which has been really awesome. So uh, yesterday I was reading a blog and um, it's a woman named Gracie and uh, she had recently had surgery on her hand and uh, not just any hand, but her stitching hand. <laughs> so this poor woman, every time she, she wants to sit down to stitch or something, her hand is aching because she's done her chores or she was busy that day. And, and now she's reaching the point of, um, I think her head might pop off her shoulders if she doesn't get any crafty time in pretty soon. So yesterday... I decided that I was going to craft for her, and craft I did. And the Route 66 bags, I made those. And then I fully finished a piece that I had stitched back in. I started December 8th, 2013, and ended in January 2014. And here it is. I have the little hanging things there, but. Here's that for your viewing pleasure. Yes, I'm very proud of this binding. This fabric was is one of those fabrics that um, you have like 
the whole top part is this, and then the bottom part has like a two kinds of edging. So you have like a, a motif edging. It has snowmen and hearts. And then there's this border that has this, uh, this heart fabric. I don't know if I can get that up close for you like that. So I thought I'd use the, the heart as a binding because that's what it looked like to me. So anyway, there's that. And this is from the 2006 the cross stitcher magazine but the pattern you can still get it i've seen other people stitching this um it's by imaginating and i i believe it's still on one two three i'm not sure but this was wonderful and let me get this in close so you can see the snowflakes have beads and all the lights they're just three beads put together in different colors so um, it makes it look very festive. It's actually, I'm very proud of this. <laughs> I like it. So I did that for her as well. And then I followed that up with some stitching because you know we have to get that in. And I worked on Fire and Ember, which I refer to as Thordak, the Cinder King. And I got all the black in for here. And I'll be filling in the lava later on today. But uh, so I did that stitching as well. So that's that's half a page, or maybe more, maybe two thirds of a. No, nah, I'm gonna say half a page done right there. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna say half a page. That's half a page, and that was all black. So. I could sit there and watch a movie and go, mm, 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 and then go, oh, dang, I have to go back three stitches because I went out too far or I didn't go out far enough, you know, stuff. So I did that. So let's see. If you participate in Wapocalypse, uh, March is the month that you do one stitch a day on your focus piece and granted I haven't done one stitch a day on my focus piece because it kind of falls in line with um, the unconventional cross stitch stitch-a-thon. I actually have three unconventional cross stitch patterns going presently and I had a new start on the first. That's why I have three. Otherwise, I just have the two. So all three of those are basically my focus pieces. Um, I'm rotating through all three of them. So I'll get a page finish, put that one down, pick up the other one, get a page finish, except for Pirate Ship. That one doesn't do page finishes because it's the Pirate Ship. But last time I worked on it, I got a bunch done across the bow of the ship. It's so like all this chunk here and then a whole bunch of color through here. So pretty pleased with that. Uh, I didn't get to it this week. Um, most of this work was done last week. And uh, But once I get the page finished done on Thordak, I'll be picking this up and doing a bunch on here until I can't do it anymore. Which brings me to my new start. And you know what I forgot to get was the cover page so I can show okay. you. So this is for, uh, it's called, okay, I have to keep checking because my brother changed the name. As usual, with any project I have, the name gets changed. Uh, so this is Cute Angel Mermaid. And my brother absolutely loves it. And his birthday was on March 3rd. And I had originally planned on starting it on March 3rd. But then the Wapocalypse thing happened where you do, you know, stitches per day, blah, blah, blah. And the unconventional cross stitch stitch-a-thon started on the 4th. So I wanted to get started on this because I was really itching to do it. It's like, I deserve a new start. Why not? Even though I haven't finished any whips. Why not? <laughs> so I got to stitching on it and I got the first page done. So 
This one has only 20 pages, so it's going to go pretty quickly. So, and and the the columns along here are about two thirds the size of this, so you're going to cut off a bit. So it should stitch up pretty quickly. This is the uh, top of her head. Pleased to say, the next block is going to have an eye, the all-seeing eye. So um, there's that. And then the, the, the pages, I can cut them down to size, so I don't need a stand or anything. So when I'm stitching on this, I've got to flip the pattern around. There we go. It just kind of fits right on the stitched piece. So like that. So I can look at this while I stitch here, and then I can move it over and you know do all the things. So it's pretty cool. This page is finished. So pleased. Okay. So Blue Angel Mermaid, otherwise known as BAM. Yeah, that's right. BAM. Like the chef. Uh, because March happened, I set aside this poor fella. I talked to my daughter about it. She understands that, you know, I reach a point, I just can't stitch on it anymore, and I was forcing myself to do it, which takes the pleasure out of stitching. So this is getting set aside for a while. Probably pick it back up in April. We'll see. And... Because I wanted to put time on my timesheet app, which is right here. Let me get my app up here. I know, so rude, and I apologize. So rude to be on my phone while I'm trying to make a floss tube video. So my timesheet app, let me go to my pie. I need to show you my pie. It is glorious. Look at that pie. Look at that. So what I did was I went through my my whips for, you know, my Stitch 9 challenge. And I did something with every single one of them. And I, I put time on the pie. And so for Ink Circles Tapestry, I did part of a flower right here. This, just that. Oops, it's supposed to be up like this. I need to mark it or something to show where up is. But I did this flower right here. It took me a little while. It's so pretty, so pretty. And it was funny because when I, when I set it down to put it away, I didn't want to, but I had a goal and I reached my goal. The next one that I touched was uh, Unseen Things by Lizzie Kate. And I put this flower in, filled in the centers, made the vine go all the way here, filled in the top part of the border, put and, and I did that. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And was that it? Oh, well. We went through that rather quickly, huzzah. So, uh, huh, 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 huh. let me cross these things off. Okay. So the unconventional cross stitch stitchathon, uh, starting Monday is gonna be 100 stitches before and after pictures. So I have to do 100 stitches on each of the three projects that I have and uh, the actual like berserker stitching stitchathon doesn't start to the last week of the month but this kind of gets you going you know get you re-familiarized with your project if you haven't picked it up in a while that sort of thing so it's really good and wool hanging okay so let's talk about the uh, magical mystery cell. There's going to be an Easter cell. And um, I printed out 
the blog page so I could read it over and over because sometimes I get confused. And in case you are not sure what you have to look forward to, if you haven't participated in this before, this is this year's New Year's Eve cell, the mystery cell, and this is where you get a part of the, the pattern every couple of hours. And I made this one into an ornament. The spring mystery cell for last year, I ended up making a lovely, so soft and fluffy biscornu on the back. Let me see if I got it up right. There we go. So it says it's the mystery cell from uh, April 2018. The pattern was so pretty and and very simple, which is funny because um, as much time as it took to get each individual little part, it still was a very simple, very pretty pattern, and I loved it. This one was far more complicated, and uh, yeah, it just kept going <laughs> and going. But then I was sleep deprived too, because I was excited to participate in that one. So the pre-stitch, the first pre-stitch pattern for the mystery cell uh, will be on Magical's blog on March 15th. And then the second pre-stitch will hit her blog on April 1st. And then the actual mystery cell starts on April 15th. So um, lots of time in between. And if you do a lot of stuff, over the Easter weekend with family and friends. Um, it's okay because you know the patterns will be there and you can just come in, swoop in later and then you know post your stuff. So there's that. And I thought today I would do a project bag giveaway. Does that sound good to you? It sounds good to me. And let's see, project bag giveaway. Oh, I already came up with what you should put in the comments below. Everything is beautiful. <laughs> so if you want to win a free project bag, everything is beautiful in the comments below. And uh, because it is, I mean, think about it. I knew this guy years ago. Um, I, I guess it, his life was strangely blessed, you know. I mean, he didn't really have, um, he had a great childhood, you know. He had a good job. He owned his own home. He was a young man to do that. And so everything in his life was pretty much going on, going along. And his philosophy on life was everything is beautiful, even the ugly stuff. And... I thought that was pretty poignant and I kind of you know, try and keep that in mind always because even if you see something like you see the worst dog on the planet he is so hideous to look at he or she <laughs> it's not gender specific <laughs> you see that dog and it is just nasty looking you know not that it's dirty or anything but still, think of the fact that it, it's a living creature. That makes it beautiful, right? It probably has the best personality ever, even if it is hideous. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, you know. Anyway, I don't even know what brought that up. But everything is beautiful. Comment below if you want a free project bag. And um, when I do the drawing next week, um... I'll just have you pick the project bag you want. And instead of just holding one up saying, this is what you're going to get, you'll get to pick one. Because by, by the next time I do the next floss tube video, which will be... Dee, 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 dee. When will that be? That will be... Oh, March 24th will be the next floss tube and that's when I'll draw the winner and that's when you can decide and there will be 
more project bags in my shop to, to view and look at and fave. And, um, and if you're impatient, then um, go ahead and get one for yourself so you know that one isn't getting chosen by the winner if you're not the winner. <laughs> and then you're like, oh dang, that's the one I wanted. So, uh, so there's that. So everything is beautiful in the comments below if you want to win a, a free project bag and uh, probably throw in a floss pad to go with it just so you can experience it. Some of the people that have had a floss pad um, are asking themselves why they ever stitched without one. And for those of you who are new to my channel, because I've had a few new subscribers lately that, thank you, it's so exciting. And join the ranks of the old guys that are the old guys. I'm so sorry, ladies, the old gals. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry. Sorry, all us cronies here. Um, but this is a floss pad. And the purpose of the floss pad is, is to put your floss on it while you're doing a project, while you're stitching something. So let me get, here we go, here, here's a skein. And you, you put the floss on the pad and it, it could just be a piece or, you know, you, you've got your bobbin on there, whatever. It's so your floss doesn't travel away from your project or wherever you're sitting, wherever your stitchy spot is, it stays right there. And, you know, you can give it a shake, it'll eventually fall off, but you don't end up with it on your elbow. You don't find the floss in your front yard getting stepped on by everyone because somehow it ended up on your pant leg and you went outside and it fell off there. You know what I'm talking about. Or say you're vacuuming and you're like, what is all this string in my vacuum? No, that's your floss that went somewhere and ended up getting sucked up into your vacuum. So floss pads, wonderful. Um, they just, it's like a little bit of gentle Velcro for your floss. And I don't remember I usually lay the bobbins on flat, but you know, even those will stay on there. So, you know, as long as you're not flinging it around and you got floss flying, you know, it's fine. But that's what a floss pad is and that's what it's for. And I have a ton of them in my Etsy shop. And I try to get fun fabrics just to make it entertaining, you know, because uh, sadly, this is mine. <laughs> I've had this for years and, you know, it finally occurred to me that other people might want to use this, but the people that do have them really like them. And one of the comments was, I don't know how I've lived without it this long. So I'm really grateful for that comment because I'm not the only one. <laughs> so um, the floss pads I have right now are, are they're small but they're also inexpensive. So, you know, you can try one out. If you need a bigger one, you can do a custom order. I will make you a bigger one. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, gosh, I just love my floss pads so much. I, I love them all. All one billion of them. I have a lot of floss pads, so you might want to grab one of those while you're getting project bag. So, oh my gosh, let me tell you what on an airplane, the floss pad is invaluable. Yeah, if if you are able to sit and stitch on an airplane, which is kind of difficult because the chairs are like this skinny, you know, and you're always next to some dude who likes to reach around and just <laughs> I had a guy like that once and um, I fell asleep on a plane which is weird but I fell asleep and of course I'm on a plane with the engine noise and everything and was having a difficult dream and apparently the man was leaning over to look out the window and he was almost in my lap 
yeah, because he had his hand up on the chair and he was leaning like this. So when I woke up, I almost knocked him out, but I don't know why we're talking about that. Just horrible, horrible flight. That's when I took six planes to get to one place that would have only required one plane. <laughs> I don't know why that happens. You ever wonder about that? Why do I have to fly all the way to Chicago in order to go to Denver when flying from Alaska? It makes no sense. That's back in the day. Now you can get, you know, a straight flight. It's fine. But anyway. Oh, yeah, and it's Sunday, so somebody paid the gravity bill. Everything's falling on the floor. All right. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did because, um, dang, I feel so accomplished. This has been so wonderful. So um, please have a beautiful rest of your day and um, be safe and take care of each other. Until next time, keep on stitching. <laughs>